guys, I was in the mechanical room. Uh, today we're going to pop down this condensing unit and put a drain pan under it. Now I told you about this before, you can see the water leaks on the floor and eventually it seeps, down, it seeps downstairs. So we're going to pump this unit down, we're going to cut our line set, move the unit, put the pan down, rearrange the line set a little bit, put ourselves a flow filter dryer on the 3.8 and uh, that'll pretty much be it. So we're going to get going with that here and I probably won't have enough camera time or life to uh, get all of it but I'll try to catch the exciting parts and uh, so I'll hook my gauges up and pop it down and we'll go from there. Okay everybody, um, unfortunately uh, the service valve got cooked when they were uh, raising the line set in so I couldn't pump it down, I had to recover it. Um, so we're done with our recovery now, we got you know, two PSI on the three on left in the line set, uh, good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut them open, uh, get the pan under this thing, and I'm kind of under the gun here so I don't really have time to record much, got my uh, nice funky tunes going there. And uh, go ahead and cut these loose, put it in our filter dryer, slam the pan under there, and be back to the rest of bring this thing back together. Got all my loose lines built back up, got my filter dryer in place, got my here, got my nitrogen purge over here. I'm going to power it up and uh, maybe get a little bit of raisin, maybe we won't get nothing out of it. In this part of the video, I have some copyrighted music, so I'm just going to have to leave a silent space here, unfortunately. Unless I can think of something clever to say, which is unlikely. Not very good with off-the-cuff sort of things. So. Need roughly two minutes of silence. So as you can see here, I'm just brazing up the brazing up the joints here. Perhaps having a little bit of trouble with it. I was a little inexperienced then, you know. Definitely caught a, uh, a little whiff of smoke off the paint there at some point off the off the filter dryer when it was kind of burned it or whatever and sucked up a mouthful. You could, uh, if you could hear the audio, you could hear me coughing. So. so I actually need just short of two minutes of silence here. Stop it at one, one fifty six. Okay, back to the video. Hey okay, guys, so we got everything back together for tonight. We got everything running. Uh, that's it. Our uh, suction service valve is closed, so we're going to replace um, both the liquid and we're going to put a, a, just a ball valve right here and right here on the liquid line. So we're going to replace both of them and we forget about those. Uh, so that's one pump down, got my drain line all tied in. Uh, these guys need it again. Uh, they need it for uh, their sleep lab tonight. So I was running out of battery life and uh, camera space yesterday. So I uh, give you a little review of what's going on here. Uh, we installed the drain pan under this unit. Uh, to drain the condensation it makes. And we got a nice copper drain line heading over, over to the floor drain over there. All right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I would have pumped it down, of course, that's the fast way uh, to do this, uh, but when this unit got installed, they didn't uh, protect the service valves, and the suction valve was toast. The liquid one seemed like it was maybe alright, but uh, definitely cooked the, uh, so it wouldn't pump down. So I had to recover all of it. So that's where we're at now, we got everything recovered. Actually, I had to put it back into service last night. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, there's some lack of communication on the manager part, but 
Uh, anyways, <laughs> beside the point. Uh, so I have two new service valves I'm putting in here. I'm gonna put a 3 8 here and a 7 8 back here. I got them all wrapped up um, to protect them from the heat while I'm brazing them. Um, got my nitrogen purge right there. Um, blow the food liquid side. And uh, so I'll turn that on here and fire up my torches and uh, brace these in.
Apparently that cork stuff is flammable. Okay guys, uh, we got our new service valve brazed in. And we got them uh, leak tested. And we got everything evacuated. And the liquid line over here. And uh, I pulled it down to five, below 500. And I shut off the pump. And I've been gone a good half hour. And it's still below 1000. So I'm going to call that good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that guy off, actually. I'm going to set it up there, shut it off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw my little high side hose on here. And, uh... uh Alrighty. So then, uh... So we're in uh, the vacuum, got all the hoses purged, and we're going to zero our scale, and it says the factory charge is 115 ounces, uh, I'm not sure how much that, uh, do a quick, anyways we'll get charging here, uh, and then I'll calculate how much that is exactly, and let's go ahead and dump some liquid in there. Sides. Get it going nice and good. So 115 ounces. Some people are real good at math and they can do that. Ah, come on here. Pull up the calculator. Come on. Oh no, it's a calendar. Menu. Calculator. Let's do 115 divided by 16. We got 7 pounds. Um, hmm. Yeah, 7 pounds. One. Do this in reverse. I'm not sure what 0.18 pounds is. 16 times 16 times 7 equals 112. So we need 7 pounds, 3 ounces. 7 pounds, 3 ounces is the factory charge. Let me write that on there. Let's go ahead and open this up. Seven pounds of three ounces. gotta have a real, real long line set. It's gotta be at least, at least 75 feet. So I'm guessing we're probably in the eight, nine pound range by the time it's all said and done. Anyways, we'll put seven pounds and three ounces in there and then we'll uh, charge it by superheat till it looks right. So I'll uh, let this uh, thing charge up and we'll get you back in a minute. Okay guys, we're all done here. Uh, I'm going to put it uh, charged up to as close as I can. They don't have enough return air on this thing so I couldn't get it perfect. Uh, second line's coming back real cold still but uh, not my not my responsibility to fix it. This is, uh, we're just doing this drain pan because leaking water on our floor. That's the only reason we're doing this at all. So, uh, we, uh, but evacuated it down, got all the all the moisture out of it. We put a filter dryer in and these new service valves, so we did it some good. And somebody's gonna somebody's gonna have to pay for it. I don't know who. Uh, I'm just doing it. I'm, I'm getting paid anyway, so I don't care what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm gonna put some Armaflex on here. Uh, get that, so we're not gripping any condensation there. And then uh, everything will be caught in a little lovely little grain pan, and uh, life will be good. So these service valves are, aren't doing anything anymore. 
leak locked them and uh, tightened them down real tight. Tightened flare, flare caps on there. Never touching them again. We got our new service valves and ports right there. Oh, uh, that's all she wrote. Uh, put my armor flex on and then I'm gonna go home. Uh, thanks for watching.